Which goes to Vice City West. The game is divided into two halves, like Vice City East, Vice City West. I can just walk through that. It's not solid. <laughs> There's nothing special to that. You could just walk through it. And so I'm going to try and get above the bridge here. There we go. <laughs> and so now I'm, I'm not supposed to be here, obviously, but I'm here for a helicopter and a phone call. Hey, Sonny, it's Sonny. Uh, this is Sonny. He's the, uh, he's the mob boss from up north that sent us down here. So he's checking in on us, right? He's like wondering if we're, uh, you know, how the, how the search for the money is coming along and all that. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style because I didn't have this problem in my life with unreliable people. And, so you're not um, supposed to get access to this until later in the game? Yeah, like, um, it doesn't uh, unlock for a, a few more missions. So here we go. We're at a helicopter before we're supposed to get one. And uh, we're going to use this helicopter for a very long time. We're going to make sure that we don't enter too many vehicles, because if we do, then, like, it'll despawn, right? I think you can only ever, like, own two vehicles at once. Like, the game will only ever keep track of two vehicles for you. So um, we're going to make sure we don't enter too many so that we can keep this thing around for as long as we need it. So we're just flying back to Diaz now. He's got a, another little mission for us. We just found the guy's, you know, gang hideout. So now he wants us to uh, assault it by air and get whatever he, he uh, he's lost back. Money, drugs, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, I canceled that phone call there. I'm not going to take it because I don't need to. It's, uh, it's an optional side mission. You've got you, an interesting way of flying helicopters. What do you mean? Like, just what how violent I am? Well, you're also tilting it forward. It constantly knows that. Yeah, well, you got to tilt it forward because, like, the, the way you go forward, the way you actually laterally move forward is tilting it down. Also, I need to explain this. I'm not supposed to be in third person here, but a close replay lets me do that, and this gun also fires really fast. It doesn't fire that fast. It doesn't fire anywhere near that fast normally, but I think the reason it fires so fast is because, like, the animation is cancelled when we're like this, so there's nothing to buffer the firing rate, so instead it just, like, it makes it so much easier to do this mission. Usually, like, my camera is tethered to the side of this helicopter, but I can actually, like, look in any direction I want. It's very fantastic. Um, this mission's also a little bit of an auto scroller. We're just gonna gun down a bunch of dudes a little bit at a time here. We got some good music going. This game's soundtrack is, like, really good. It's one of the reasons people, like, are so fond about this game, is, like, just how good the soundtrack is. This game was made in 10 months after GTA 3. The development cycle was so short. Um, I think it was originally meant to be, like, just a mission pack for GTA 3, but they got carried away, and this is what we ended up with. And um, it's pretty good, man. The radio in GTA 3, though, has, like, no budget. I'm pretty sure the hip-hop station is all one label, and Double Clef FM is like all public domain classical music, you know? Interesting. So then you, you get to Vice City after the success of GTA 3 and they just go all out with it. They get they get Ray Liotta, Ray Liotta, whatever his name is, for Tommy Versetti's voice. They get Burt Reynolds for Avery Carrington. And then they just get a bomb soundtrack as well. I'm going to shoot Lance. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um, that drops the helicopter faster. <laughs> so he's dead now. You can actually kill him like four times in this run. It's pretty good. Um, I grab that. Lance is back to life. He's coming to pick us up. He forgives us. Wow. It's okay. It happens. Nice. You know. <clears throat> A life of Christ.